Good evening and thank you for joining us. We want to begin with testimony today from the man who shot and killed Ahmaud Arbery. Travis McMichael is accused of murder along with his father and a neighbor who chased Arbery through their Georgia neighborhood before killing him. The men say they suspected Arbery of burglaries and were attempting to make a citizen's arrest. McMichael told the judge that he wanted to tell his side of the story and he teared up as he described the moment he fired his shotgun three times at the unarmed 25-year-old, calling it a life or death situation. McMichael says he fired in self-defense when Arbery tried to take his gun. Prosecutors say there's no evidence of Arbery committing crimes in the neighborhood to justify the chase and the deadly encounter. Arbery's killing has prompted Georgia lawmakers to repeal most of the state's citizens' defense law. CBS's Omar Villafranca leads off our coverage from the courthouse in Brunswick, Georgia. Good evening, Omar. Good evening. A bit of a surprise that Travis McMichael took the stand. Only time we'd really heard from him was 911 calls or police body cam video. But today, he gave his version of what happened. I want to give my side of the story. I want to explain what happened. Instead of invoking the fifth, Travis McMichael gave the jury a first-person account of what he says happened the day he shot and killed Ahmaud Arbery. McMichael broke down crying as he described the final deadly confrontation captured on cell phone video as a fight for his life. What were you thinking at that moment? I was thinking of my son. It sounds weird, but that was the first, it was the first thing that hit me. What did you do? I shot. What? He, he had my gun. On February 23rd, 2020, his father, Gregory McMichael, spotted Arbery running from a home under construction. The younger McMichael says he grabbed a shotgun and jumped into his truck with his father. Prosecutors have argued that the McMichaels and William Roddy Bryan chased Arbery through the neighborhood after suspecting him of burglary. Did you want to stop Ahmad Arbery and talk to him? I did. McMichael also talked about his law enforcement training while in the Coast Guard and mentioned how pulling a weapon on someone can make them comply. During cross-examination, prosecutor Linda Dunikoski discussed his point further. So you learned as part of your time in the military that you can't force people to speak with you. That's correct. Okay. And that if someone walks away, you have to let them walk away. Yes. You were trained that displaying a weapon may be considered psychological coercion. Under certain situations, yes, ma'am. Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, was asked about McMichael crying in court. Her response, can you imagine the tears we have shed? Cross-examination of McMichael will continue tomorrow. Nora? Omar Villafranca, thank you.